Hello friends, welcome to Textile Cell. I received a lot of comments to make a home automation project using the ESP32 touch sensor. We all know ESP32 has inbuilt capacitive touch sensor. So first we'll try to control a relay using the inbuilt touch sensor of the ESP32. So we will not use any external touch sensor. Then we will see if it is possible to control multiple relays using the inbuilt touch sensor of the ESP32. Afterwards, we will add external touch sensor to control the multiple relays. During the video, I have explained all the circuit and the source codes. So after watching the complete video, you can easily modify any code to add the sensor to any other home automation project. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, we will control this relay using ESP32 and here we will not use any external touch sensor instead we will use the inbuilt capacitive touch sensor of the ESP32 so here you can see this wire is connected with a GPIO27 and this relay is also connected with the ESP32 now if I touch this wire with my bare hand you can see the relay turns on now if I touch again the relay turns off so first let me make this project so here you can see this is the circuit the circuit is very simple you can download it from the related article now let me go to coding part so this is the code let me open the code with Arduino id in the code here you can see for the relay i have used gpio 13 and for the touch pin i have used t7 which is d27 so let me go to another pinout diagram so here you can see these are the touch pin available inside the ESP32 and here we are using T7 which is GPIO27 and here I have mentioned the threshold value 40 so you can easily get that threshold value in your case just go to file example then select ESP32 then select touch then select touch read and here let me mention T7 so here you can see T7 is GPIO27 now let me upload this sketch to ESP32 sketch uploaded now let me open the serial monitor and here we are getting a value 102 now if I touch the wire with my hand you can see the value decreased now if I remove my hand again the value increased so from this value we can calculate the threshold value which will be in between in this case I have mentioned the threshold value as 40 so whenever I touch the wire the value should be less than 40 and whenever I remove the wire the value should be greater than 40. Now let me upload this case to ESP32. Here you can see our circuit is ready. Now if I touch the wire the relay turns on and if I touch again the relay turns off. Now if you want to use multiple relay then you can refer to this circuit. Here we are going to control four relay without using any external touch sensor. From this diagram you can see we are going to use these pins. Now the problem is you cannot use this case to control multiple relay for that we have to take help from another example. So let me go to example ESP32 touch then I will open this example. Now using this example you can control more than one relay as you can see I have modified this example to control four relay. So let me go to that sketch you open this sketch so with this sketch we will try to identify if it is possible to control multiple relay without using any external touch sensor but before uploading the sketch let me go to circuit and here you can see there are a lot of connection so to make the circuit compact i have designed this pcbs for this project although you can easily make the circuit without using any pcb but still if you want you can download the GABA file from the video description and order the PCB from the JLC PCB. In JLC PCB you can also use their PCB assembly service absolutely free. Recently I have used their PCB assembly service. After making the circuit you can easily convert the circuit into a PCB. Now to use their PCB assembly service you have to generate three files. You have to generate the PCB GABA file then BOM file and at last pick and place file then visit the JLC PCB you can find a link in the description then I will click on this quote now button then you have to upload the GABA file 
After that, I will scroll down. Now I want all the components should be shouldered on the top side of the PCB. So I will select this. Now I have to upload the BOM file and pick and place file. So here you have to confirm all the component that you want to use for the SMT service. So you can see they are showing approx footprint and you will get all the details here. After checking all this, click on save to card and place the order. And in my case, I have received this PCB from JLC PCB within a week. And as you can see, the packing is really good and also the quality is very premium in this affordable price. For this project, you can use both the PCB. Here I have used SMT components. You can download the GABA file and other required details from the description. Let me connect the ESP32 on this PCB. In the sketch, you can see these are the GPIO used for relays and I have used these pins as a touch sensor. And here I mentioned a threshold value 45. So with this function, we are checking if the value is less than the threshold value. Then we are calling this function for T4. Then this function will just make this variable true. And if the variable is true in the manual control, you can see we are changing the state of the first relay. So the code is very simple. Let me upload this code to SP32. After uploading the code, now we will control this four relay using these wires which are connected as per the circuit now let me connect this wire to control the fast relay you can see i can able to control the fast relay now let me touch the second wire so here you can see i am controlling the second relay now let me touch the third wire and now i can able to control the third relay but whenever i change the wire here you can see the third relay automatically turns on as I touch the second wire. So this is the problem with this circuit. Although you can control the relay, but whenever you try to control one relay, another relay automatically turns on. So this is the main issue if you want to control multiple relay without using any external touch sensor. So I will recommend you to use external touch sensor if you want to control multiple relay. So without any relay, let me move to our next circuit. In the circuit, here you can see I have connected the 4 channel touch sensor to control 4 relay. Now if you want to control 1 channel touch sensor, then you can refer this circuit. This IR receiver is optional. If you want to add IR control, then you can use it. Actually, I am taking this circuit from one of my previous project using Blink. So you can refer to this video. I am taking the circuit code from this previous video only. I will mention the link in the description. Now let me go to the coding part. So you will find these three code this for the push button this is for the latch switch and this is for the touch sensor so here we will understand what are the change you have to make to use push button latch switch or touch sensor so let me open this three code one by one so here you can see this is the code for the latch switch so in all the sketch i have used this library ace button which is a fantastic library you can use it now let me scroll down to end to go to button handler function so for the latch switch whenever we press the switch we have to turn on the relay so whenever this press event occur we are turning on the relay as you can see we are sending low signal to control pin then when we release the switch this event will occur and here we are sending high signal to turn off the relay now let me go to code for the push button here you can see button is written and again let me go to button handler function at the end so for the push button when we press the button then we release it then this release event will occur and it will just change the previous state of the relay now let me go to the sketch for the touch sensor now again let me scroll down to button handler function and here you can see this block is absolutely same which we have seen in the push button first we touch the sensor it sends the touch then we remove our hand then this release event will occur and it will just change the current state of the relay as you have seen for the push button now if you want to use touch switch instead of the push button you just have to change this line in the voice setup so here you can see this is the void setup and this is the code for the push button. For the push button I have used input pulled up in pin mode function. But for the touch switch I have used only input in the pin mode function. In the circuit here you can see for the push button 
I have not used any pull down or pull high register, so I have used that input pull up function. But for the touch switch, there is already a pull down register, and whenever it sends any touch, the relative output pin will become high. So we cannot use input pulled up for the touch switch. So we have used input in the pin mode function. Apart from these lines, everything is same with the code for the button. So now let me upload this code to ESP32. But before that, I have to enter the link template ID template name. And again, you can refer my previous video. These are the data stream we have created, which we have explained in my previous video. Now let me go to device info, copy this and here I will paste it. And this is the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password and this is the hex code for IR control and here you can see I have also used Bluetooth serial with Wi-Fi so in the tools I have to select ESP32 dev module then in the partition scheme I have selected use app then selected the proper port now hit the upload button now after uploading the code here you can see this blue LED is glowing so it is connected with the blink let me touch the first sensor then let me try to control the second and third and i can also able to control the relay from the blink app so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day